guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today I'm reviewing NECA's Bioshock Infinite, Booker DeWitt. This is unfortunately most likely their last Bioshock figure to be released. And the retail price is $24.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging, with an image of Booker DeWitt, as well as a bio on him. For most likely being their final Bioshock figure, due to what has happened to the franchise, they decide to go out with a bang, releasing Booker DeWitt, who's been highly requested since Bioshock Infinite released. For those of you unaware, he's the main protagonist from the game. And of course, he is indeed a completely new sculpt. With that being said, he's exactly what we all hoped he'd be. An accurate representation of the character, with some cool accessories and plenty of articulation, which is exactly what you would expect from NECA. They put a great effort into sculpting him, and the paint applications really complete it. Sculpt-wise, they did an amazing job with his head sculpt, and I love the attention to detail in his hair, to the wrinkles on his face. But I feel they could have done a better job with his facial hair. Everything else, including the paint deco on his eyes, is perfect. Moving down to the torso, you can see that he's wearing multiple layers of clothing, including a white undershirt which collars at the neck, a black jacket, and a light blue vest. His vest, as well as his jacket, have sculpted pockets, as well as sewing seams and buttons, which are painted in silver and white. And there's also a loose red tie sculpted around his neck. Strapped around the shoulders as well as his back is a brown X strap, which is heavily textured. On its right hand side is two ammunition pouches, with a heavy black wash and gold buttons. And on the left side is a cracked leather holster, with a Mauser sculpted into it. His hands, as well as his forearms, are exposed, with the sleeves rolled up. And sculpted onto his right hand is the initials AD, which I won't spoil it for you if you haven't played the game yet. Moving further down, he has a sculpted brown belt, with a silver buckle, striped pants, which have rips and tears here and there to keep it interesting, and some brown boots, with black soles and gold lace holes. The articulation for Booker includes a ball-jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists, a ball jointed waist, ball jointed hips, ball hinge knees, and ball jointed ankles. And his weapons and accessories include an extremely detailed skyhook, which fits into his hand perfectly, along with a shotgun with gold, silver, and brown paint applications. Overall, for about $25, Booker DeWitt is an absolute must have for any Bioshock fan and I'd highly recommend you get out there and scoop one up before you can. I'm extremely glad they decided to make him, and he turned out to be an extraordinary figure. The only disappointing aspect is, is that he might be the last Bioshock figure, at least for a long time, but that is something that's far out of NECA's control. In the meantime, this figure is well worth enjoying. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.